prodigy story time. Right to the like the intersection. My car is on the other street. Tell me why this grown man is standing right at my car, just looking in it like this. Like just waiting for the right moment to mm, my window, bro. Oh, oh, hey man. What's bracket YouTube? It's your boy. I'll be the prodigy, man. And today, I'm bringing y'all part two to the how I got fired on my day off story time. Now, you just seen the clip. I left off on this old man, like 40, black dude, patrolling my car like he was ready to hit a lick, right? And I gave y'all, I gave y'all an ultimatum. You know what I'm saying? I wanted y'all to tell me what was, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? Did I, did I hit him with a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did I, did I leave? What, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get back to the story, okay? Listen, check this out. So I'm telling, I'm telling my driver, I said, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Pull up. And as soon as we pull up to my car, me, I'm kind of heated now because I'm not, I'm not for none of that, bro. And this old man, he didn't run because if you run, it's even more obvious. He literally walks down the block, just speed walks, gone. Right? After all this 20 minutes I've been gone, he just surveilling my car. As soon as I pull up, he gone. So we decided to go ahead and deliver the packages on that street. And now my driver, he's about to call it in because he thinks dudes wants to steal packages. I'm like, bro, what does my car got to do with packages? My car's on the street. The packages are on the dope. You get what I'm saying? So I'm more focused on my whip. Now I'm looking at this dude. He walks to the end of the block, right? And now he's just standing at the end of the block. Like, bro, do you think I'm that stupid? Do I might look a little stupid, but you think I'm that stupid? Okay, bro. So eventually my driver, he's starting to realize that I'm kind of, I'm on edge. So this is what he tells me. He says, uh, it's a light day. Go ahead, get your car situated. Do what you got to do. It's all good. I can handle this on my own. I'll see you on Monday. Hey! Hey! You know, hey! Listen, he ain't had to tell me twice. I'm out the car. Clock out real quick. Boom. I get in my whip. First thing I do, go to the jewels, put some air in the tire, right? Took me about 10, 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Take the little, the little things out the tire. Put some air in it. Boom. Next stop, I'm going to get my hair cut. I ain't got my hair cut in a minute, as you can see. But I pull up to the barbershop. I come out. Official, okay? And now it's time for me to go home. Now it's like 2 o'clock. Normally, I start working at like 11 when I'm working for UPS. So like I said, it's a part-time deal. I, so it's like 2 o'clock, I'm on my way home. I'm on the phone with my mama. You know what I'm saying? My day really can't get any better. Then all of a sudden, my my driver, I'm in my neighborhood now. Now he's delivering boxes in my neighborhood. <sighs> Tell me why I drive past him, right? And this dude, this snake, this finesser, this hoodlum, he got a brand new helper sitting shotgun in the whip. Now, here's what this means. At the time, I didn't care, because I'm like, I'm going home. But my mom was like, that's not good. That's not good, right? So I'm thinking I got replaced on the day. I'm thinking maybe he realized that it was more work than he thought it was, called in another helper. It is what it is. So I drive past him, he see me, I see him. And like I said, I drive like this, so I'm... And the car I drive in, to be as big as I am, it's really, really little, bro. And them trucks is like up high, so I low key looked like a punk because he was looking down on me. But that's beside the point. So I go home, right? And that type of job, you call in in the morning, they give you your assignment, et cetera, et cetera. So mind you, this dude said that I could go home and get my stuff situated, right? So I go back to the crib Friday, enjoy my weekend, doing me, doing my thing. Monday come around. Right? Oh, it's a Saturday. So weekends are optional, so you can call in to work if you want to, but they technically your day off, right? So I call in, I tell them who I am. I'm asking them where, you know, where they want to assign me, right? This lady says, We're sorry. 
but we no longer want you for the rest of the season. And me, once again, I'm going to keep it a buck. I did not care. But I had to ask. I had to get a reason because if I just went and told my fan bam, hey, they fired me. I didn't ask why. I'm going to get sick. Okay? So I say, why? You want to know what this lady told me? She said, 